सहनाबतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शाति 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 मे ऑल ऑफ अस बी प्रोटेक्टेड मे ऑल ऑफ अस बी नरिस्ट May all of us to pray for. May all of us be enlightened by the light of knowledge. May there be peace, peace, peace alone. Just uh, first of all, welcome everyone. Uh, I see seven people in audience. It's a good number. Ah, uh, just um, to. Uh, confirm if you guys can hear me and see me well. Just give me some response in message. Okay. Okay. So today we are going to practice Kundalini meditation, Chakra meditation. and uh, before getting into that we are also going to practice nadi shodhan which is also called anulom vilom and both of these practices might be new to some of the people so what i will do is before we begin the actual practice i will demonstrate how each of these things are done uh, i will try to give you a overview of what important things are to be kept in mind while doing kundalini chakra meditation and uh, the variation of uh, nadi shodhan that we are going to practice so first of all nadi shodhan is basically uh, purification of energy channels the word nadi is actually referred to as channel uh, but uh, a lot of people also say that the nadi also refers to the nerves but we know that the nerves uh, the channels that we are talking about in this particular context are not found inside our body it's um, not in the physical body at least it's in the energy body or in the um, pranamaya sharir as we call the if you know about the five sheets uh, then it is in the second sheet so um that's why we we will uh, refer to it as energy channels and not nerves that is the first thing we have to clean our energy channels it is a prerequisite for kundalini to rise through the central energy channel right and uh, nadi shodhan is also called alternate nostril breathing why because we try to close one nostril and breathe through the uh, first one and then exhale through other and then inhale through the other one and exhale through the first so we alternatively close and open one or the other nostril those people who have their nose blocked because of cold or something may find it difficult to practice and may not be able to practice in some cases but um, you can be around with us and see how it is done so you can do it at a later point also if you want to practice it regularly there are other pranayams other breathing exercises that you can do prior to this so that uh, in whatever condition you are whether you are suffering from cold or anything your nose will be cleared up and you will be able to do it 
so that is in a nutshell about nadi shodhan so i will demonstrate how it is done first of all we are going to close our nose and uh, when we close our nose we have we can close it like normally right but uh, in order to channel air in a particular direction or in order to channel life forces to be more precise in a particular way we can use two mudras hand gestures first is called vishnu mudra so in vishnu mudra what we do we take our first two fingers and touch them at the base of our thumb now we have three of the remaining fingers so with the thumb we close our right nostril and with the ring finger we close our left nostril alternatively while doing nadi shodhan another hand gesture that you can use or another mudra that you can use is um, is by placing these two fingers on your agya chakra or on your forehead between your eyebrows and then with the thumb closing your right nostril and with the ring finger again closing your left nostril so you can either do this way or you can do it in vishnu mudra okay this is the first thing another thing is obviously i will have to put it in do not disturb sorry for that another thing is because we are keeping our hand raised throughout the practice of nadi shodhan you may feel some discomfort in your hand because you are keeping it raised for 5 10 minutes or whatever duration you do we are going to do for 5 minutes so that it's not that um, difficult for most people to follow but uh, even in 5 minutes you may find some discomfort some heaviness in your arm so what you can do for that is two things one thing is you can change the hand itself instead of doing it with the right hand you can start doing with the left hand and you do the same thing first two fingers at the base of the thumb thumb and ring finger just the nostrils and the finger will interchange so when we do from the right uh, right hand we use thumb to press our uh, or to close our right nostril but when we are doing with the left hand it will go other way right we can use our thumb to close our left nostril and the same thing you can do this by placing the two fingers on the top other thing that you can do is if you want to keep doing with the right hand itself you can keep doing that and with the other hand you can support gently this is other way to get rid of the pain or the discomfort that you build up with the practice in your hand okay that is about nadi shodhan pranayam now uh, let's talk a little bit about kundalini because what we are going to do is we will practice nadi shodhan and then uh, immediately we will start kundalini uh, meditation and there will not be much uh, time for us to talk about what we are going to do in kundalini at that moment so let's just discuss little bit about what we are going to do kundalini meditation is basically a visualization based meditation so you have to use your visualization power because we will be visualizing energy flow through our chakras right so first two things uh, are important to be known before we start first thing is the position of chakras in our body so the first chakra is called muladhara there are seven you don't need to remember uh, during the session i will be guiding you through where you have to focus uh, what is the name of the chakra what is the bija mantra or the seed mantra for that particular chakra all these things i will be guiding you through the session as well but just so you know how we have to do it uh, you have to know that there are seven chakras in our body first is called muladhara which is located at the very bottom of uh, our body when we are seated right so the portion which makes contact with the ground if you are seated properly you know some people sit like this you know um, with hunched back 
in that case uh, obviously the base of their spine will be uh, taking up a lot of pressure from their body weight which is not the right way to sit but if you are sitting properly then the area between our anal region and genital region makes contact with the ground with the seat right if you are sitting on the chair that is where muladhara is located the lower most chakra in terms of position not lower most in terms of importance or anything right just in terms of position just two fingers above that is located swadhisthan okay this is the second chakra it's also called sacral chakra the first one is also called root chakra muladhar um then at the navel region uh is located the third chakra which is called manipurak or it is also called uh, i don't know navel chakra <laughs> okay uh, maybe it is uh, navel is pretty uh, familiar word for us to understand the location of that chakra which is the more important thing the fourth is called anahata and it is located at the heart region so when you wear any kind of uh, sorry if you if you wear any kind of uh, religious pendant or anything it normally has to hang at your anahata chakra or the heart region heart chakra when we also do namaskar or when we greet somebody we join our palms in front of the heart chakra that's where the uh, fourth chakra is located the fifth is located in our throat okay throat chakra it is also called throat chakra or it is actual word actual name is called vishuddhi and uh, the sixth is agya or the third eye it's popularly known as third eye so agya chakra which is located in our forehead between our eyebrows okay and the fifth uh, and the last chakra the seventh chakra is called the sahasrara chakra or the crown chakra most people say that it is located at the top of our head but actually it is located a little bit above so at this a little bit above our head this is where the crown chakra is located this is the position of chakra so when we will be doing kundalini meditation and as i guide you to move your attention to the next chakra you have to uh, move it accordingly right so positioning your attention at the right place in the body is a important part of this meditation because a good amount of this meditation is going to be visualization but visualization alone cannot do any good to us there has to be some connection with the physical in the sense that visualization will uh, start impacting us uh, so the position is important that's why we discuss this and uh, another thing is the beej mantra the seed syllable so starting from the lowest to the uh, topmost chakra the beej mantra is yam for the lowest one yam y a m yam second it is vam v a m vam for the third which is at the navel region the seed mantra is ram r a m ram for the fourth which is at the heart the seed mantra is yam y a m yam the vishuddhi has hum h a m hum for agya which is the third eye the uh, seed syllable is om okay somebody wrote third uh, one is called solar plexus yes i just uh, was forgetting the name so for the agya it is um, om and for the sahasra the final there is no beej mantra it is pure silence when we reach there we do not chant anything we just enjoy the silence there okay so just to repeat the lowest one is lam 
then vam then ram yam hum om silence okay so with this long long introduction uh we we are now ready to begin our practice so we will do it uh, we will do this for 20 minutes and um, first 5 minutes we will be doing nadi shodha and then i will guide you through kundalini uh then we can um do kundalini yoga and uh, by the end of 20 minutes that should be over so i will set the timer whatever we have discussed so far if there is any doubt uh, you can ask in the chat anything is not clear uh, but for sure we are going to practice this and uh, i will be guiding you through uh, all the things that i believe you will not be able to remember just with the just with this brief introduction okay so i will just set the timers accordingly okay please show the hand postures you showed at the beginning right so for doing nadi shodhan pranayam we can do either vishnu mudra which is first two fingers roll down to touch the base of the thumb and then with the ring finger and thumb we close our alternate nostrils with the thumb right nostril with the ring finger left nostril if you are doing with the right hand or if you are doing with the left hand same thing you fold these two fingers to touch the base of the thumb and with the thumb this time you close the left nostril and with the ring finger you close the right nostril okay this is one variation another variation is by keeping these two thumb uh, these two fingers straight and placing them on your agya chakra or on your forehead and then using the thumb to close the right nostril and ring finger to close the left nostril same thing you can do with the other hand place the first two finger on the forehead now with the thumb you can close the left nostril and with the ring finger close the right nostril okay so uh, i will suggest that you use this particular gesture because we are do, going to do kundalini yoga after that and this particular gesture hand gesture actually helps activate agya chakra which will be helpful in the uh, next stage of the session when we will start doing kundalini okay so let's begin make yourself comfortable if you are seated on chair just make sure that your back neck and head are erect or you are seated on ground or on bed just make sure your neck head and back is aligned and erect and keep your hands on your lap or on your knees palms facing upward let's start with three deep breath breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in 
let your breathing be normal. Now we will begin Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Place your first two fingers on your forehead. With your thumb, close your right nostril and breathe in from your left nostril. Now close the left nostril and breathe out from your right nostril. From the same right nostril, breathe in again. And from the left nostril, release. This completes one cycle. Left breathe in. Right breathe out. Right breathe in, left breathe out. Let's continue doing this for 5 minutes. Relax. Let your hand be placed back on your lap or on your knee, palm facing upward. Let your breathing come back to its normal, natural flow.
breathe normally for one more minute. Now we will begin Kundalini meditation. Bring your attention to the lowest part of your body which is in contact with the seat. Muladhar Chakra. between anal region and genitals. This is the place of Muladhar Chakra. Keep your attention there. Visualize a small source of light at our Muladhar Chakra, at the root chakra. Small source light. Keep your attention. You may verbally or mentally chant with me the Beach Mantra or the seed syllable for the chakra while keeping your attention and visualizing a small source of light. Small source of light. Deep breathing. And with exhale, we will chant the mantra. Lam. Lam. Lam 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 Keep your attention at the root chakra. Now gently move your attention to the next chakra, Swadhisthan. Just two fingers above the root chakra inside our body. Just 
just behind the genitals. Visualize a stronger light source at this chakra. As we move upwards, the next chakra, the light gets stronger. Just like a star, when seen from far, just looks tiny and as we go closer, it grows in size, in radiance, in all aspects. Keep your attention at the Swadhisthan Chakra. Take a deep breath, we'll chant. Vam. The seed syllable for this chakra. Vam. Vam Vam Keep your attention at the sacral chakra, the Swadhisthana, the second one. See that light growing even brighter as we move our attention to the third navel chakra, solar plexus, Manipurak. Keep all your attention at your navel region. See a bigger, more luminous source of light. We we'll chant Ram seed syllable for this chakra while holding our attention in our navel region. Ram. Ram 
ரம் ரம் tension on the navel region slowly imagine the light is getting even stronger even brighter even bigger as we move our attention to the heart center the anahat chakra bring your attention to the chest region feel the warmth of the light in your whole body your attention at the heart region take a deep breath we will chant the seed syllable yam 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 keep your attention on the heart region look at the magnificence of the light bright warm glow at your heart center this is the center of compassion let the light move further upward growing even bigger and brighter 
to your throat center the vishuddhi chakra move your attention to your throat region chant the seed syllable hum deep breath in hum Keep your attention on the throat chakra. And gently now move to the third eye. Move your attention to the forehead between your eyebrows. the agya chakra imagine the light glowing in its full glory like a sun radiance without limits we chant om the seed syllable
from your ragya chakra third eye move your attention on top of your head above your head just a little bit four finger widths apart just four finger widths higher than the top of your head is located sahasrara chakra the thousand petal crown chakra see the light there the source of light has now become vast the light engulfing our whole being and everything that we know illuminating every corner of this cosmos relax and enjoy the warmth of the light is boundless infinite luminous entity Now slowly bring back your attention to your breath. Observe the incoming and outgoing of the breath, and slowly become aware of your body, of your surroundings. ओम सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामयाः सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःखभाग भवे ओम शान्ति 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 May the benefits of our practice be shared by all. May the joy, peace, happiness be experienced, be experienced by all. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all see good. May nobody ever suffer. May there be peace, peace, peace alone. Now join your palm and rub them against each other to get some warmth on your palm, and then close your eyes with your palms and gently open your eyes, looking at your palm.
there is a question can i sustain the notes of the beej mantra sustain the notes uh do you mean while chanting uh, as i was trying to extend as long as possible uh yes that is actually the practice you you have to take a deep breath as deep as you can and then while exhaling slowly you have to chant the beach mantra for as long as you can that's uh, not just for this beach mantra but when you are chanting om also even when we saw mantra meditation we were chanting soham there also and the practice is similar if anyone wants to share their experience they can share they can come uh, on the stage become a speaker they can talk or they can um, put their uh, experiences on the chat on event stage chat or on any other channel wherever you team fine that is fine but you can join me on the stage if you want to discuss or talk about your experiences I know this session was longer than expected uh and this has been happening <laughs> for past two uh yeah past two sessions we are going uh, beyond the duration that we decide but that is generally supposed to happen <laughs> when we are doing guided then obviously it takes some time to also give instructions and then you repeat so we have to give some time for the participants also to get into that zone right so okay uh if there is no no uh, no speakers to share experiences or no questions doubts anything we can close this session thank you everyone for joining and thank you for your patience because this was again longer than expected and uh, yeah see you next week thank you